Okay, just going to look at writing this and simplifying this, and we want to write it with positive. We're going to write it with positive indices. Okay, so when you're doing this, you need to go inside out. So if you go to the inside, you need to do the inside first. So I'm just going to get all these tiny little brackets and just do that first. So that's going to be um, we've got bracket bracket minus two to the four now. Minus 2 to the 4, I want you to realise that if it is an even indice, the minuses will cancel out. A minus times a minus is a plus. So this would be plus 2 to the 2. And this one, a minus times a minus is a plus. So that would be 2 to this. So that just ends up being positive 2 to the 4. Because an even indice will cancel out a negative. Minus 3 squared, that will be... Um, plus 9, which is just 3 squared, see? Because it's minus 3 times minus 3, a minus times a minus of plus. If it was an odd indice, like minus 2 to the 3, it would be minus 8, so it wouldn't actually cancel out. So it's minus 2 times minus 2, which is minus 8, which is like, it's like having minus 1 times 2 to the 3, so it won't actually cancel out. Okay, so that minus 2 will cancel out because that is an even indice. So that's 2 to the 4. So that bracket's gone. Times 2 to the 5 brackets, 3 to the minus 2, all to the minus 4. All over brackets. Now, that's going to be 2 to the, just doing this one, minus 4 times 2, because you multiply those indices, is 2 to the minus 8. This one, minus 3 times minus 2, is 2 to the, minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6 times... And then we go 3 to the 4. And then that's all to the power of 2. Okay. So next step is let's go inside these brackets because you've got to do the brackets first. So 2 to the 4 times 2 to the 5. Add the indices. 4 plus 5 is 9. And that's 3 to the minus 2 or to the minus 4. 2 to the minus 8 times 2 to the 6. Minus 8 plus 6 is 2 to the... Uh, minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. So it's 3 to the 4 squared. Okay, so we've got 2 to the 9 times 3 to the minus 2 or to the minus 4. And we have 2 to the minus 2 times 3 to the 4 or to the 2. Okay, now you can't do anything else with these ones inside here because they have different bases. It's a 2 and that's a 3. So now I'm going to go for the bracket. And when I go for the bracket here, I'm going to multiply the indices. So that's 2 to the 9 times 4 times 3 to the minus 2 times 4. And this is 2 to the minus 2 times 2 and 3 to the 4 times 2. So now looking at that, that would be 2 to the 36 times 3 to the minus 8 and 2 to the minus 4 times 3 to the um, 4 times 2, which was 8. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we need to write it with positive indices. So I'm going to take that 2 to the minus 4 and I'm going to move it up to the top. So that's going to be 2 to the 36 minus minus 4. All right. And then I'm going to bring the, that down the bottom. Okay. Because if I bring it down the bottom, it'll make it a positive indice. I want you to realize that if you have like, say you have 4 to the minus 2, when you bring it down the bottom, it becomes 1 over 4 to the 2. But when you have 1 over 4 to the minus 2, when you bring it up to the top, it becomes 4 to the positive 2. Because it's like when you divide, you subtract the indices. And minus minus 2 is positive 2. Okay, so let's look at the 3. So it's 3 to the 8 minus minus 8. So I've got to change that sign. So it's 2 to the um, 40 and 3 to the... 16. Of course, if I move that up, that would be 2 to the 40 times 3 to the minus 16. So I just want you to realize that if you have a to the minus 2 on b to the minus 4, if you move the a to the minus 2 down the bottom, it becomes a to the 2, and b to the minus 4 up the top, it becomes positive b to the 4. Now, if we think about it, I just want to think about it in terms of fractions. A minus 2 divided by B minus 4, that would be 1 over A2 divided by 1 over B4. And when you divide by a fraction, you multiply the fraction. So you have to flip it and multiply it. So you end up with B4 on A 
on A2. Okay. So maybe just have a go at something like this. Um, oops, sorry. A to the minus 4 to the minus 3 times A to the minus 6 times B to the 2 all over A to the minus 5 times B to the minus 2 times A to the minus 6. No, A to the minus 8. And let's just square the whole thing just for fun to the minus 2. Okay, so let's go inside. So that's minus 4 times minus 3, which is 12. I'm going to go inside out. So that would be 12 because minus 4, minus times a minus is a plus, 3 falls a 12. A to the minus 6 times B to the 2. And then the bottom. Now, the bottom, I can go minus 5. And because we've got times that, that would be minus minus 8 times B to the minus 2 or to the minus 2. So it's now going to be A to the 12 plus 2 times A to the, oh, sorry, A to the 12 plus minus 6 and b to the b to the 2 all over a to the minus 5 plus 8 is 3 times b to the minus 2 and then all squared so i'll just fix that in to see up that was 12 minus 6 okay so that's going to be a to the 6 times b to the 2 over a to the 3 times b to the minus 2 squared Let's get the a's, a to the 6 minus 3, because we're going to bring that up to the top, um, times b to the 2. Now, it's, you're going to bring that up to the top to make it positive, so it's minus minus 2. So you're going to plus 2, because as soon as you go over that division sign there, you've got to change the sign of the indice. Okay, so you should be able to go minus b2, bring that up to the top, it will be b2. Okay, so that's going to be A3 times B4, because minus minus 2 is B4 all squared. Now, it wasn't squared. I think I had it as a minus 2 to start with. Yep, I did. <coughs> Multiplying these indices, that's A to the minus 6 times B to the minus 8. Now, I want to make it a positive indice, so you bring it down to the bottom. So it's A6B8 when you do that. 